I think the hardest hurdle for me to overcome in the beginning was investing time and energy into videos when nobody was watching them. This video hit really hard. He hit every point right on the head, everywhere from... And all jokes aside, it really means spending hours and hours staring at a computer screen. Staring at the computer for hours on end, editing, all the way down to putting in the work when nobody's really watching your videos. There's just so many points in his video where I really watched it and I just was like, man, this is so precise and on point in every which way. And for that reason, I decided to make my own video. For anybody that doesn't know what it's like, you might see it as... But a lot of it is planning, writing, shooting, editing, I should be making a video right now. About 80% of the time, this is actually how I am. I should be making a video right now. And it does take a long time. My last video, I just recently put out for my death setup video, that took me well over a week or two just to film. I shoot a little bit every other day and uh, yeah, I edit at night. I must edit at night for at least two, three hours every night constantly. You could ask my girlfriend. She's probably just already sick of it because I just sit there. I'm writing and editing, just kind of planning what I'm going to shoot next week or even a month from now when I have big plans. Like I have a lot of videos in the works coming up that um, I'm really excited about. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and leave a like because uh, yeah that'd be much appreciated this this is and was something that I have to overcome putting in the hours when nobody's really watching your videos when you put hours and hours into these videos but nobody's nobody's watching it's it's hard to you kind of want to take the easy route and make an easy video but nobody's gonna your channel's not gonna grow and you're not gonna get subs if you're just doing the easy route so you do have to put in the time and that's something I'm kind of realizing a lot more. But this is a huge point in that video too that I really, really stood out to me. It bothered me a lot before, but now I'm kind of making just videos that I want to make instead of what I think will get views, which took a lot of stress out of what I'm doing and a lot of stress out of the channel in general, just because I'm having a lot more fun shooting things like this or my death setup video or you know, a vlog of me just going out with my kids and stuff. So these are kind of things that uh, I'm really happy with, you know, going to film things that I want to film and edit things that I want to want to edit. Don't get me wrong. I am still doing videos that people want, right? Like if you if you do have a suggestion of a video you'd like me to do, definitely leave them down in the comments because I'm definitely open to that. Like I do want my subscribers to want to stick around, right? And watch my content. But I also try to make things that I want to make. So to be a YouTuber means that you need to face your fears. And that sounds a little bit corny, but it's absolutely true. In the beginning, you have the fear of failure. Uh, the fear of looking like a complete idiot. And so you just have that fear that you've wasted your time, that people are making fun of you, people are talking about you behind your back, but you have to continue to show up. This right here is more, it was just a home run. Like it just resonates so well because I actually talked about this. Yeah, I just contemplated on starting this channel for so long. I just never built up the courage to do it just because of my own insecurities in my head. But after a while, I just have kicked and what's the worst that could happen? So yeah, it just really hit hard. This this whole video, just from start to finish, I was just like, right? And in the end, he kind of explains. If you can make a full-time living doing that, the thing that you find so much fulfillment from, the thing that you're passionate about, that's a win. I think truly that should be the end goal for everybody. I know that's the end goal for me. And that just resonates with me because that is my end goal. Just trying new things with film and all of this stuff, like who knows where it'll take me. I'm just really excited with it and it's, uh, yeah, it's really interesting. And that is the end goal to be able to 
make money with a camera and mess around with cameras. And that's why I really wanted to touch on this just so more people watch it actually. Making videos was just a process I really enjoy doing. Shooting, editing, messing around with cameras, gotta love it. And it's something I'm stoked to do every day even if I'm still under 100 subscribers. It's just something I still enjoy doing. Like the moment I don't enjoy it, that's probably when I'll quit. So let's end this on a positive note. If you like making videos, make videos. If you like cooking, go be a chef. If you like driving trucks, be a truck driver. I don't know, but there's so many big topics in this whole video that I just love. So uh, yeah, let's just end it right there. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Can handle my editing progress. Oh, whoa, 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 jeez, he just jumped. I started using it. Ugh. Are you kidding? Yo, what's up? Not much, man. Just, uh, let's make.